Hello and welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with episode 10 of Subnautica Below Zero. Ooh, it's chilly, Ooh, it's chilly out here. Um, I am just leaving the greenhouse. Doesn't feel very like green, but whatever. All right, let me just warm up for a second. Hey, mate, let me just kind of warm it over your nice warm demeanor. All right, so yes, first thing we want to do is get the hell out of here because this, this place is cold. Next, I want to find out well, actually, yeah, I was given a clue. Go to where it's like spy, uh, spires of ice going to the sky. Uh, that was one of the tips that was given to me. So, uh, also, there's uh, someone suggested going back to her original base because she was, uh, what's this? Oh, fevered pepper. I've been told about this. Yeah, apparently, if you mix these two together, you get like a salad or something. Uh, can you scan this? Hold on, let me scan this. No? I thought you could scan that. Maybe you already did. You know what? I already did. Okay, cool. Well, I grabbed a bunch. Probably too many. Ooh, body heat. Spicy mm. edible pepper. Mmm, that's spicy. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we got that. I was wondering where the find knows. So we have that. We, uh, we can make a salad or something. I don't know. I'll grow some at home. Now, next thing. Yeah, so let's get out of here. And I'll head back to Maida's original base. Now, I believe that was near... Uh, last known location. Yes, I think I can find it again. Okay, so we're at the last known location. Uh, all I have to do is remember which direction to go. I know it seemed less than obvious when I was here last. Now, I think I just need to point myself in a direction that has, like, a little light post or something like that. Now, which direction was that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, geez, here it is. That took way too long for me to find. Uh, at least I have my sea truck down here this time, so I don't have to be as as rushed. So yeah, she had a moon pool here, which I scanned. I I can make a moon pool now, can't I? Um, blah, 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 blah. um where would I find that? Oh, here we go. Moon pool. Yes, I can make one of those. I I should make one of those. All right. That aside, uh, yeah. So I'm curious about this. There was a comment um, in I think one of the couple videos ago that, or maybe the last video. Oh hey. There's a thing that, hey, you should go back to that base because you can go behind where they were standing. And uh, I like going into places I'm not supposed to be. Ask my wife. And you oh, again. Hmm. I, I did expect you to be here. I was going to ruffle through your things, but if you don't mind, I'm going to right over here. And oh my, look at all this. Let's get a scanner out. Um, let's see here. Refrigerator. We like the sound of that. Cool. We can make a fridge. Where'd that go? Um, fridge. I thought it would have taken to me, taken me to the entry, but oh well. Anyways, I know how to make a refrigerator, so I, I know what that is. Cool. I should gather all kinds of things here. Abandoned PDA. A fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this Arctic hell. Wow. Uh, and of note, uh, now I can uh, have a shit, wash my hands, and take a shower. So, trip. 
Hashtag worth it. All right, so now that we've uh, done this and, and invaded your privacy, excuse me, pardon me, go about to watching your smut or whatever the hell you're doing over there. All right, so now, now, now that I've done that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look for those frozen spires that stretch up to the sky or whatever that was. Uh, let's see. How's my storage doing? Gosh, I wish I'd get out of there. Get, get. All right, stash all my goods in here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to planting all of that when I get back to base. All right, uh, now let's get the heck out of here, if I can remember how. Hmm, that looks like something I haven't scanned yet. Hold on, let's pop out of here. Uh, on my way out, perhaps I have stumbled upon something. What is this? Uh, no? Oh, seat? Okay, afterburner upgrade. Is that... I think I got one of those, didn't I? Diamond. Oh! Uh, thank you, friend. Yeah, oh, flippy, flippy, flippy to you, too. So, uh, okay, well, hold on. Afterburner upgrade. Is that something I just got, or are we just talking about it? Oh, <laughs> alternatively, you just go to the ocean, place to do dishes, uh, soap not included, keeps food from spoiling. That's awesome. So, what about that uh, sea truck upgrade? Oh, here we go. So, uh, earth, extra burst of speed at the expense of some power. Nice. I want, I want the horsepower upgrade. I wonder if there's more pieces around here. I might have to actually wander around a bit and find it, because that would really make using this thing a lot more uh, a lot more safe. Oh, I see another part. It looks like an afterburner one. Am I? Where am I? Wait a minute, is that an alien thing? <laughs> Did I wander somewhere? Okay, hold on. I may have already been here, who knows, but why not? What is this? After Horsepower! Oh, this is the one! I'm glad I didn't just nope the fuck out of here. Why am I not getting notifications? All right, I thought there was a setting maybe that uh, disabled those settings or those uh, notifications saying that you've unlocked things. But uh, if there is, I don't know how I would have done it. So, yeah, that looks like an alien thing. Okay. Um, where am I? <laughs> uh, okay, so what is that? Oh, how did I exit straight out? I need, I need to know this. What is this? Um, nothing. It is, it is nothing. And uh, what is this? No idea. Firm roll. Okay. Uh, plus for like, uh, this beats for steams, volcanic gases, uh, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, for magma. Okay. Um, I have a feeling I should look around. What is this? <gasps> Docking module. Is that what is that what I use to carry the the uh, the cyclops? Oh, not cyclops. The fuck am I talking about? One out of three. Um, yeah, I think that's what I use to, to grab the uh, prawn suit. That's what it was. I've been looking for that. I. D How did I just wander from her base to here? Uh, but hey, we're gonna wander a little while longer because I have a feeling I'm gonna find all of them here. All right. Was it like a 3D printing thing? What's going on here? Okay, so I am so glad that I got a I got a thing that lets me go this deep. That, that that's what she said. Okay, let's get our thingy out here. Um, F. There we go. Okay, let's take a look around. What is this? Ancient artifact. Fossil excavator. Um, okay. It uses lasers, carbon dating, blah blah blah. Lower. I just wandering around a little bit before I go over here, so I imagine this... Oh, there's like an ion cube in there. Okay. Just yoink this. So, there was important information here. Like, how so? What do you want me to do here? Okay, so maybe that's not what I'm here to look for. It's weird, it looks like such a important-looking place, but it really just gave me an ion cube. Alright. I'll bite. So let's continue moseying on. I, there has to be something more to this place. Aha, uh -huh, looks like two out of three. So, how do you... What did it press to get out of this heat truck without having to get inside the cockpit? I, I am really curious. Alright, docking module number two. So yes, with this, I can actually take my prawn suit around, which would be just tremendous. I also will need to build the moon pool and the vehicle upgrade console. And uh, that would let me make a drill arm, which means I can gather bulk resources with the drill arm. So that's, that's like all kinds of things I want to do.
Okay, this thing looks ominous. Okay, moving on. Now, um, that's creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's creepy. I just kind of like a big zit. And then it pops. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fucked up. Maybe, can I scan that? Okay, no, I can't scan it, I don't think. I just don't want to be anywhere near it when that pops. Ow, ow, yeah, that hurt. That gave me the ouchies. So, let's not do that again. Okay, where the fuck am I now? Um, okay, it looks like an arm of some kind. Wait a minute. Okay, is it maybe when I'm pointing down, I exit right away? Uh, torpedo arm. Yeah, I don't think I have that one. Not that I've ever used it that much. Uh, quartz crystal, why not? Right here. Why not, indeed? I'm actually missing some of those. So, yeah, I don't... Hmm. It's, weird. it's the thing about Subnautica. You never know if you are in the place that you're supposed to be and when you're supposed to be there. You know? This place looks pretty intense. Okay, it looks like another arm right there. Okay, if point down. Yeah, that's all it is. Oh, what the fuck's that? Um, yeah, what is this? Propulsion arm upgrade. Okay, I think I had one of these, didn't I? I thought I did. One or two? No, I didn't. Neat. Well, cool. I'm not sure if it'll have any any use, but... It's, oh, fuck. Okay, it's better to have it than not have it. Oh. A Leviathan-class creature is near. Oh, is that what I saw? Fuck. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be here? <laughs> um, okay, now I'm actually a little on the nervous side. Alright, I see another arm over here. Getting pretty nervous, because there's a Leviathan class thing here, which I'm not sure I have any means of tackling. I have that shock thing on this, which I don't know will have an effect on it. Um, if it doesn't, I don't know what the fuck you're supposed to have it for, but whatever. Yeah, oh my god. Seek fluid intake. Yo, why did I just piss myself? Um, all right. Vital signs stabilizing. Cool. Um, fuck. All right. All right, there's a propulsion arm, and I wonder if I can can get me from here. <laughs> it's hopeful wishful thinking, right? We just uh, scan that quick. Neat. Now I can I can use it. Uh, not what I'm worried about right now. All I'm worried about is uh, trying to figure out how I got here, and how to get the hell out. Alright, I think I found my way out here. Now, uh, just because I encountered a leviathan creature, I just re-enabled my uh, heart rate monitor, uh, which has been on the fritz, but I think I fixed it now. Alright, so yeah, I'm not sure what that place is about. I just don't think I'm supposed to be there right yet. But I do want to find that other docking module piece. Now, hopefully it's all in this one area, and I don't have to go back uh, down into that purple crystal hell, but uh, if I don't find it here, gosh darn it, I'm going to go back in, and I really don't want to. Oh, is this the other piece? I just kind of wandered around, and I figured I'd find it, because if I found two of them, I'm fairly certain there's going to be a third. Yeah, that is freaking tremendous. I'm happy to find that. Cool. Now, I don't... <clears throat> I don't believe I, I need to go to that crystal area. I'm glad I know where it is now. It's kind of around where that uh, Meta's base was, and kind of as you exit, you just keep going, and that's where I found it. So if that being the case, I'd like to get out of here now. And I have other things I'd like to do. I got some of Alan's pieces to find. I got those spires uh, to locate, those ice spires. And I got some modules to craft. So I wouldn't mind heading back home, emptying out and uh, crafting a few things, and then uh, planning my next trip. Hey, hold up. Is this, uh... Is this another one of those pieces of the ship? Okay. Maybe? Oh, hold on. It looks like a way in. Well, hell. When in the neighborhood. So I'm finding so many things to... Have I already been here? Maybe I have. But that doesn't look familiar. Uh, salvage? Why does it look different? Okay. Now, have, did it... No, I definitely... I don't think I was in this one. Maybe this is the third piece of the ship. What is that? Battery? Yeah, don't mind if I do. What's this? Cut to access. Okay, I'll bite. 
Um, laser cutter. I mean, is it just another one of those pieces I already have? Okay, what's this? Uh, parallel process. Okay, frag me. I already have this. So I, I guess that's maybe just an alternative place to find it. Hold on. There's light. There we go. Ooh, a jukebox disc. I've been meaning to check that out. I found another one in the other ship, the other part of the ship. So that being the case, maybe I got some music to listen to when I get back. Oh, another reactor rod. So I got a power cell, battery, a reactor rod, a music disc. So far, I'm pretty happy that I found this place. Now, is that another door? No. No? No. Alright, so maybe we'll get some air, and then check to see if there's any other parts of this ship that we should be, uh, you know, pilfering. You know, I think that's all this place had to offer. I'm just gonna double check this one section over here. But I think... That might have been it. Okay, I think it was. There's that one little room. Cool. All right. I'll bite. Okay. Hope you. Hopefully you don't bite. So yeah, let's uh, skedaddle. Let's head back to base. Ooh, that's 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 a fair bit away. But anyways, let's let's head that way. I'm, I miss home already. Ah, uh, home sweet home. And now this thing's shooting sparks all over the place. I, I I need to definitely get some maintenance done to it. All right. So point down and out. That's handy. I should, I should do that more often. Uh, repair tool. Repair tool. Uh, yes, there we go. Yeah, let's give this thing a tune-up. All right, all spick and span. So let's pop in. Oh, that was weird. Um, shoot, hold on. So if it's... Let's upgrade. Let's get out of there. There. Uh, let's face back up and then get into... There we go. That's cool. Now that we know how that works. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff to bring in as well. Especially... Get out of there. Especially uh, some samples of this. So I can uh, get that planted and make salads. Ah, uh, nice in the indoors. I wish I had some sort of automatic sorting system where I just dump everything in one box and it automatically goes to like areas of designate. Oh, one day we'll have such a system in any game that we play. So I uh, got discs, so let's check this out. Uh, Divide Survive, Rocket Gaming, Subnautica Stimulus. I think that's new, isn't it? Okay. I'll dig it. Let's uh, jam out while we're sorting. Oh, check out this spicy fruit salad. So I have uh, one of each planted right now, so I can go ahead and craft one of these. Supposedly, it's like the best food in the game. Salad does not. All right, so we got the uh, pepper tree right here, and we got uh, the Preston's plant growing here. So uh, what did this make? Body heat 100, food 85, water 30. Holy crap. We need all of that. Now, does this spoil? I don't know. Hey, it's changed the music. I think we heard this one. Um, well, that's that's my music, my music. There. I think this is the other one I got. All right. Let's go grab some more stuff out of the truck and then figure out what we're doing for crafting. All right. Now, that's the, everything I needed for the docking module. Now we, now we need some lubricant. Uh, I think it's under miscellaneous crafting, if I have any. Um, miscellaneous lubricant. Gosh, what was that stuff made from again? All right, so I guess I need some creep vine seed clusters, but we'll uh, worry about that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and get this module crafted. And I'd like to make that moon pool sooner than later. Uh, I was going to find a spot for it, maybe off the, off the big room. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a spire-looking thing, isn't it? Oh. Anyways, pop into here. Here we go vehicle bay and docking module i can also do the oh some i thought it was another piece i could do i'll start with this one. Oh, will do okay there's our module i'm excited about this one there we go let's uh, back this big boy up here now i assume as you add modules onto this thing it gets slower which imagines why you need the horsepower upgrade to uh, negate or mitigate uh, some of that loss i guess i could have driven that module over here but let's pop out again yoink all right so uh, apparently you can drive these things by grabbing the handles there you go and then we can just park this bad boy where uh there you go let's do it old dog style and snap right in there bam just like that cool so this uh grabs on to that guy so uh, we'll see how that works Okay, so let's get into the prawn suit. Ooh, I missed you. All right, so do we just jump into it? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like wearing them like a backpack. That's cute. Oh, that's 
gravy. That's just... We'll actually make use of that now. Now, do I feel slower? I don't think so. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't. It's not like I have a measure of how fast I'm going. Either case, it's made. Now, next thing I want is the moon pool, because I'd rather get this thing upgraded before I take it anywhere. Oh, hi, friend. Titanium, don't mind if I do. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, I think, I think I can like, grow these things. And I guess they'll give me the clusters, maybe. Or maybe it's the cluster I find. I, I don't know. I forget. I, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, hold on. Inventory full. Let's scan one of these guys. All right, creep vine seeds. Okay, so let's actually drop a couple of those. And then, do I knife one of these guys? No. Let's just grab, well, two, I guess. <laughs> um... Do I need the creep vines? Silicon-based plant material? Maybe? Yeah. Either case, I'll bring both home. And uh, maybe the first thing I'll do is try to grow them so I don't have to go anywhere outside of my base in order to get some, get nice and slippery. Oh, look at this. Eject dock vehicle, exit sea truck. And there's my little boy right there. So, oh, I was hoping for something more than that. All right, so I'm actually in the process of making the outdoor grow beds. Maybe I'll come in and grab some more stuff. All the stuff, so much stuff. All right, so grow beds right over here. I thought I'd slap it right on top of the uh, big room because there's room for it. There we go. So how is this? Okay, so we see by clusters? Yes. Yes. All of that. Cool. So that's done. Uh, those things don't grow here, I don't think. No. All right. Now, I want, I want some of that stuff right now, so I'm going to go back over to uh, the seed clusters and grab it right now. But at least I know I won't have to again. All right, I'm all full of seed. Uh, <clears throat> that's what she said. Okay, I, <laughs> I was gonna let that one slide, but uh, well, I guess I can because I have lubricant now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. All right, we got a lubricant. Now we just need two of these guys. Done. And two. Oh shit. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't have any lead anymore. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, shit. All right. So I guess I'm gonna go over looking for some lead. Because I this moon pool, this I, I want to make this moon pool like the uh, the la at least the, one of the last things I do before we close off this episode because it just seems like something I should be doing. All right, now for the search for lead. Now, do we have yeah this mineral detector? Now, I wonder if this is any more useful than it was before. So I need yeah Galena outcrop. That's exactly what I need. Now I just need to wander around. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I don't have to wander so much. There we go. We need the Galena outcrop, I think. Can I get in there? Yeah, chance of lead. Perfect. All right, I guess we're looking for that. All right, I think I have enough lead now. So let's uh, get up some air, because I'm getting a little uh, on the low side. But man, there's so many resources here. You don't even have to try to look. I don't need the scanner. I just need to use my eyes. Oh, there's another one over here. And again, I, my tank is so awesome. I, I just have that much time. All right, now for the time um, that we've all been waiting for. Uh, well, you guys, I've I've been waiting. You guys have just been, you know, through the process of editing, not waiting very long. All right, so yeah, that could, hmm, hmm, this could be a problem. I'm trying to get this place, this thing to snap somewhere. So, there we go. It's a little unorthodox, but uh, that actually works. I just uh, <laughs> right above my base entrance or below. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. So it looks like it supports us on these little spire things, which works for me. Here we go. Come on now, get in there. All right, so now the vehicle console. Uh, where was that? Interior module, fabricator, modification station. I do know this, don't I? Ah, vehicle upgrade console, there it is. So we can kind of snap that wherever, uh, where it fits, I guess. Perfect. So a titanium computer chip. Uh, we can worry about it another time. I think we've uh, accomplished quite enough for today. Uh, where am I anyways? Um, ladder. Okay, I'm at the bottom. Ah, I see. So if I want to get to my moon pool, I simply go ah, down and then across. Neat. Cool. Well, I guess uh, that's one of the more important things I've built today. <clears throat> the second most important thing I built today. I have a toilet. So, um, yep. I guess that's it. Huh. I expected more. 
I guess what am I going to do? Pee like straight on? Shh. Anyways, this has been Genosis with episode 10 of Subnautica Below Zero. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time, where I believe we'll be doing some more exploration with our new prawn suit, finally.